Want to see the most awesome update to Reason since Reason 12 arrived? Did you see it? Yeah, me neither. That's because this update is largely invisible and also seamless, but this is Reason 12 running natively on my M2 MacBook Air. Reason now supports Apple Silicon hardware. That means if you're using an M1 or M2 chip, you can expect to see those big performance gains. More tracks, more device counts, faster exporting, and ultimately more music being made by you. And the other thing you didn't see when I launched Reason? My computer is offline. You log in once, and from then on, Reason will automatically log you in behind the scenes when there's an internet connection. But if you're not connected to the internet when Reason tries to log in, that's okay too. Reason will still launch with a generous grace period. And that is true for a traditional Reason license, but now also for Reason Plus subscribers. So go ahead and launch Reason on that flight. Launch Reason in that basement club with no reception. Launch Reason in the remote mountains of Nepal and even hang out for a few weeks. Even on a daily level, if the authorization server temporarily goes down for whatever reason, that's no longer your problem. Reason launches just the same. If you want to check, you can see the next date that Reason would need to authorize in the Preferences account tab. For me today, it's not until the end of the month. Simply launch Reason 12 to download the latest version. And then start planning that trip with a long flight on a plane with no Wi-Fi and a rafting trip down the most remote section of the Amazon River to get there. Because once you get there, not only will Reason run no matter what, it'll be doing so on your Apple Silicon laptop better than it ever has.